tell me them cigarettes work better when they're lit. Yeah. They're gonna get married, Joe. Says who? I saw them this afternoon looking in the window of a furniture store. Looking at furniture store windows ain't getting married. Yeah, well, they were looking at a cradle. Looking at cradles don't mean they're getting married, neither. But it does sound like they're getting warm. Hey, Joe. What is it, Lee? There's a guy asleep at a ringside table out, and he's snoring so loud he's interrupting the show. So what about it? Well, can I throw him out? Are you kidding? He's our best customer. As long as the show doesn't interrupt his sleeping, it's okay. I'd throw that lug out of the joint if he wasn't the best master of ceremonies I ever had. What was I saying? You're saying they might be getting warm. Who? Wally and June. Oh, you and June are on next. You better get ready to do your stint. I'll discuss it with you later, kid. You kind of like that kid, don't you, boss? He's like a mother to me. A mother? Look, I was swimming at Coney Island last summer, see? Well, I get a cramp. When I come to, I'm looking a mackerel right in the eye. I guess it would have been curtains for me if it hadn't been for Sandy. He saved you, huh? Brought me back to life, that's what he did. Just like I'd been born again. Now, do you see what I mean when I say he's been like a mother to me? No. Look, who brought you into the world? Dr. Sheehan. That's all, sister. for the star of our show, that luscious little lovely Miss June Mayfield. With Sandy Elliott at the piano, of course, the real music will be supplied by that celebrated dance leader, Anson Weeks and his great orchestra. Take it away, Anson. <laughs> around you and I'll hold you near oh I love you so you've got that certain something that they sing about you keep my heart a thumping and it just cries out I'll wind my arms around you like a hoop my dear and never let you go I'll wind my arms around you like a hoop my dear and hold you oh so tight I'll say I'm glad I found you when I find you near for you're my heart's delight you surely do inspire quite a magic thrill you set me all afire and you always will 
Now let's all go dancing with Anson. Take it away. Did Joe get to me? Yeah, I seen what he did, but I didn't see you do nothing. I never hit a man in my whole life. I hate that sort of thing. Look, kid. We live in a world in which nice people like you have to do a lot of things they hate to do, see? Because if they don't do them, what happens? They get stepped on. Yeah, I know, Joe, but it's too late to do anything. I afternoon looking at that... A uh, cradle, I know. Yeah. But it was an empty cradle, wasn't it? Until you see him looking at a cradle with a kid in it, you got a chance. Besides, June knows you're stuck on her, too. Oh, no, she doesn't. Why not? Oh, I never told her. You never told her? How far do you think Romeo would have got with Juliet if he kept his kisses shut? Oh, I tried to tell her, Joe, but every time I got my nerve up, Wally would come busting in. I could just get her someplace alone where we wouldn't be interrupted. Would it help if I had her at your place at the crack dawn tomorrow? Five tomorrow afternoon. Oh, Joe, gee, if you, if you could do that, I'd... You're a cinch, kid. you heard when I finished my number. Them clunks are so full of shellac they'd even applaud a chess game. What you definitely need is some more rehearsals. I want you to be at Sandy's tomorrow at five. He'll run through your numbers with you. Maybe he can do something about your arpeggios. Hey, Maestro, you're the boss. That's the spirit. It's be your own good. Wally, I want to talk to you. Oh, yeah, boss. You might not think it to look at me, Wally, but I got deep principles. No kidding. For instance, I'm against guys shoving other guys around. What are you, a waiter or a slave? Yes, sir, I certainly am. Just as I thought. Now, let me do something, Needle Nose. You pull one more bone off that, and you're going to wind up in the alley unconscious. Now, get out of here. As I was saying, I am constitutionally opposed to people pushing other people around. Take no music lessons. I don't want to be no concert violinist. You will learn to play the violin if I have to break your arm to make you do it. Come on. Begging, please, depart. Mm -hmm. I am Piasco Puchnik, the yeah. world's greatest teacher of the violin. Uh -huh. Have you possibly got G-string? Oh, well, let's yeah. see, a G-string. Uh-huh. Yeah. G-string. No, I, I don't believe so. Oh, I, I am sorry. Uh, very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Begging, please, depart. Lady, have you perhaps uh, got... Uh, hello, June. How are you? Hello, Sandy. Yeah. Excuse me. There. I've been waiting for you. Let me take your things now. Of course, I have no idea why I'm here. Have you? Well, no, you wouldn't have. So let's get to the car. Okay. Hey, uh, wouldn't you, uh, well, could I get your ice Well, Sandy, of... I haven't time, honestly. I have to be out of here in five minutes. Five minutes? Yes, darling, so let's get started. Well, huh? uh, maybe uh, just one little cookie, huh? <laughs> no, thanks, dear, no cookie. No cookie? No cookie. Oh, 
singing from here, then you should be singing from the diagram. The diagram. <sighs> now, commence again. <laughs> supposed to sing with that going on, Sandy? Yeah, it is a little noisy, isn't it? Noisy? You've got a gift for understatement. Oh, I know what we can do. Here. <laughs> Put some of this cotton in your ears. What? Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's wonderful. You won't be able to hear a thing. <laughs> there. Well? Huh? Hadn't we better get started, Sandy? June, I, I, I might as well tell you the truth. I got Joe to get you to come over here because I love you. What did you say? I can't hear a word. I said I got Joe to tell you to come over here because I love you. I can't hear a word you're saying, I Sandy. I said I got no. Joe to love you to get you to come over here. No, I, I... Oh, what's the use? Now, what did you say? Huh? Oh. Are you uh, sure if you wouldn't like a cookie? No, thank you, dear. No cookies. Well, I, we'd better get started. <laughs> Extremely a great singer. I, Piasco Puchnek, tell you this. And I, Sasha Kolonek. <laughs> and I, Leopold Mockenpot. And I, Elmer Clapsaddle. Oh, it's so nice of all of you. <laughs> oh, I have to go. Will you excuse me? Thank you, Sandy. I'll oh, see you. She is magnificent. Oh, I tell well, you, she has a real applause. Oh, I, oh, I, I never heard anything like it before. Oh, really? she had oh. How's it going, kid? She's not going, she's gone. It didn't work out, Joe. What happened? Nothing, just no cookie. No cookie? Didn't you tell her about the depth of your emotions? Oh, yeah, I, I told her I loved her, but she couldn't hear me. Why not? She had cotton in her ears. Cotton in her ears? Should have watched your language. 
Then she left. With Wally. Yeah, I know. He told me he was taking to dinner tonight, and after that they were going to the wrestling matches. you feel the way I do, that people should enjoy this sort of thing. I just don't know what this world is coming to. She was yelling her head off. Dames always yell at wrestling matches. Yeah, well, maybe dames do, but I'm talking about June. I thought she was different. That's why I wrote songs for her, and I wrote poems to her. Looks like maybe you was using the wrong approach. But, Joe, if you could have seen her loving it, cheering for a thug like this. <sighs> Tell you, I just can't figure it out. I can. The gal's muscle nuts. <laughs> muscle nuts? Who do you think the average gal would choose to be shipwrecked on a desert island with? A man with brains or a man with brawn? Figure it out, kid. How are you, hon? Hello, Mitzi. How is the wrestling? Oh, pretty exciting, I guess. I don't think I'll go again, though. It's so brutal, it gives me nightmares. Oh, Mitzi, I've got something to tell you. Sandy told me this afternoon he loved me. On the level? How did he ever get up enough nerve to do it? Well, you see, he didn't think I could hear him. I had cotton in my ears. Oh, that's a new angle. But when I took it out, all he could say was, no cookie. No cookie? That's right. No cookie. <laughs> it sounds like a big afternoon, you with cotton in your ears and him with no cookie. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you're on. Right with you. Stop all your tongue. Sure. <laughs> Check your hat, sir. Why, sure. Not bad. That's great, but make it fast. And now, folks, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our little singing star, Miss June Mayfield. <laughs> singing a little ballad of her own composition. There's only one you, with Anson Weeks and his orchestra. There's only one sun and only one moon. There's only one sky of blue. And darling, there's only one you. There's one Christmas day. Lucky 
I like jugglers. Now look, friend, you're making too much noise. Now get away from me or I lay you out like a carpet. I definitely want to see a juggler. Yeah. No wonder he's fainted. Twice in one night. First Boris the Bulger. Huh? And now that gorilla. Me and my loose lip. Boy! Boy! Take him to my room. My dressing room. Hey. At your service at any time, you know. Next time, no revolver doors. Okay. Take care of yourself, kid. I want to talk to you, Joe. Sure. What was that you said before about Boris the Bulger? Do me a favor, will you? Forget the whole thing. But Boris the Bulger wrestled the devil tonight, Joe. I know because I was there. Yes, yeah, Sandy saw you. Sandy? I didn't see him. Yes, you did. Well, where was he sitting? Mostly on Boris's stomach. What? Are you trying... Are you trying to tell me that Sandy is... Listen, I'm not trying to tell you a thing. Joe, I don't believe it. Sandy? Well, that's impossible. It can't be true. You've got the right attitude. Don't believe it. Otherwise, you might make trouble for the kid. You see, he's only doing it to support 11 brothers and sisters. Little ones. In, in Kalamazoo. That's in Michigan. Tell you what? That you were the devil. Oh, because I don't know. Joe why. told me all about it. He, he to, to, told you what? That you were the devil. That I was a devil? Oh, don't believe it, June. He must have been crazy to tell now, you. Now, he's a kid. Don't blow your top. What? You can trust Junie. Huh? Why, certainly. She won't Andy. tell. Oh, Joe, you shouldn't. Oh, I don't believe it. It's not true. I swear it isn't. Coming right away. Oh, but, don't worry, Sandy. I won't tell a single soul. Oh, but, but, Joe, th that I'm the devil. How can you do a thing like that? Now, wait a minute. You got the wrong attitude. I'm trying to set you with a girl. You should ought to be grateful. That's what you should ought to should. I should be grateful but for letting her think that I'm a fella that, that makes his living by gouging other guys' eyes out. Oh, Joe. Me, Sandy Elliott? And who, may I presume to inquire, is Sandy Elliott? And a nuntity. Did she give a hoot about Sandy Elliott? Did she? Well, me. So what do you got to lose? Yeah. Stop arguing. Everything's going to work out like I planned it. Besides, what's done is done. Yeah, but I don't think it'll ever work out. Well, you did all right tonight, Sandy. Of course, when I got through softening him up for you, why, even a kid could have handled him. All that smacking around didn't knock none of the conceit out of you. Did it, wonder boy. Well, get dressed, honey. I'll be waiting outside to take you home. Well, Wally, uh, as a matter of fact, I, um, I promised Sandy he could walk home with me tonight. You promised Sandy he'd walk home with you? Yes, that's right. Uh, you must have developed a taste for knickknacks. That'll be enough, Wally. Enough? You haven't heard anything yet. And neither of you. Oh. Well, 
Sandy, I'll see you in just a minute. I was very, very strong. But wrestling, Sandy, whatever made you think of that? Well, music is wonderful, but uh, it doesn't pay off very big. I so know. I, Joe uh, told me all about your family in Kalamazoo. <laughs> Where? Kalamazoo. It's in Michigan, silly. Oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> Swell place, Michigan. Mm -hmm. I think it's wonderful of you to support 11 brothers and sisters, Sandy. <laughs> it's just wonderful. You do? <laughs> well, I... It, uh, how many? 11. He said there were 11. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Um, but see, there's, uh, there's Arthur and Francis and Timothy and... and uh, oh, yes, there's 11, all right. Uh, but let's uh, sit down here so you can tell me what else Joe said. Oh, he said so many things. He said you had such a hard time in high school and uh -huh. that you had to do so many... Oh, excuse me. Certainly. And so he said that you, uh, your mother had to take in... Oh. Washing well, and iron. Just a minute, June. Say, I, I beg your pardon? Yes. Uh, would you mind finding a, another bank some other place? Why? Well, after all, we were here first. Uh, just a minute, young fella. Uh, Ma'am, would you uh, mind moving over this way a little bit? And then you move over that way there. Uh, you see that? FDR? Now, they don't mean what you think they do. That's me. Franklin D. Replogo, Jr. I carved them initials there in 1932. And I've been sleeping on this here bench ever since. Well, then we're right in the middle of your bed, aren't we? Sandy, huh? let's go. No, 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 now, ma'am. You just sit right still now. My house is your house. So don't you worry about a thing. Just sit right there. <laughs> oh, it just occurs to me, I, I ain't had my constitutional tonight. <laughs> Uh, now, you just take your time. I'll be seeing you. You know something, Sandy? I was just thinking, Wally would have hit him right away. But you, with your tremendous strength, you just sat there and you talked to him so politely and gently. Yeah, I, I guess that's the way I am. Kind of. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this is very funny. I have to tell you this. <laughs> what? Do you know when you asked me to go out before? Do you know why I wouldn't go? No. I was afraid Wally would beat you up. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't it funny? Hmm. Joan, you, you really wanted to go out with me. Of course I did, Sandy. Lots of this sort of cool at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, bedtime, folks. <laughs> oh, Good night, Mr. Refogel. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Good night. Night. Good night. Ooh. It was stupid of me not to know. Huh? Why, the eyes alone should have told me it was you. Oh, that picture's enough to give you the screaming Mimi. It ain't the pitch, it's them eyes. Ain't them awful? Oh, well, I, I, I better be going. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. I hope you win tonight. I hope so, too. Against him. 
He's a butcher and no good in it. Oh, now, 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 you see? Suppose that June hears something like that. Don't worry. They don't talk like that in this. No? Murderer! Butcher! No good in it! doing great in there. Oh, am I? Take a look. Why, well, you're practically choking that bulger to death. But well, I don't want to choke bulgers to death. Oh, it's a shame, Joe. A darn shame. What are you talking about? I, Sandy Elliott. I studied philosophy for three years at Yale. I, I know every bar in Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. You see? I read two stories, War and Peace, four times. To think the only way I can impress a girl is to tell her that I'm that, that no good Nick down there who's choking innocent bulgers to death. That's women for you. Sheerly material. They prefer one husky body to all the wars and pieces ever written. Oh, yeah? But what is it? But what happened? I'm happy to tell you that it looks like the no good Nick broke his leg. Now what? First thing to do is to see that June doesn't go to the devil's dressing room. I'll take care of that. Yeah. What do I do? I'll tell you. You go right home. By the time you get there, I will have contacted Dr. Binwin. Huh? No. Wait, wait, wait. Look, wait a minute, doctor. How many times do I have to tell you that there's absolutely nothing wrong with either of your legs? Well, don't yell. I know, doctor. Then why in heaven's name do you want me to put them in a cast? Because I like them that way. If they were only broken or sprained or one little ligament torn, but no, there's nothing wrong with them. They're absolutely healthy. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised at you, Dr. Dinwiddie. For once in your life, you get a nice, healthy leg to work on instead of one that's all messed up, and what do you do? You yell about it. I'm a little disappointed at you, Dr. Dinwiddie. All right, all right, I'll do it. Which one do you want put in a cast? Well, I'll leave it up to you. Uh, shall I take my shoe off? Remind me sometime to tell you a story about the woman I operated on for appendicitis through a fur coat. Yeah. Take off your shoe, dope. Yeah. Come in. Oh. Darling, how are you? Oh. Oh, this is terrible. How is he? He'll live. But will he ever be the same? Unfortunately, yes. Poor, poor Sandy. Come on, June. I don't want you to watch this. <gasps> Joe, did you hear that? Relax, honey. He's in good hands. Joe, you've got to promise me one thing. If he recovers from he mustn't ever wrestle again. Now, how can I promise that? I ain't his manager. No, but you're his best friend. You always said you were like a father to him, Joe. You got that wrong. I said he was like a mother to me. There's a big difference. Okay, so tell your mother to cut out wrestling. But, but honey... Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about his family, how he'll support them. You can take care of that, Joe. All you got to do is give the boy a raise. That's all I got to do. Yes. You got swell ideas. Only this time it won't work. Sandy can't quit. He's got contracts. Well, can't he break them? Don't be ridiculous. In the wrestling racket, all he can break is his legs. Doctor. What is it? I can't understand it. Now it hurts. You can come in now. How is he, doctor? I'm afraid he won't walk for some time. How long? That's entirely up to him. Doctor, do you think a consultation is necessary? That's not a bad idea at all. If you know of a good psychiatrist, bring him in and I'll have a nice long talk with him. Psychiatrist? Poor Sandy. He looks so pale. Where am I? Take it easy, kid. You'll be all right. Can you hear me, Sandy? Can you hear me now? No. Now? Sandy! I'm delirious. I don't know what I'm doing. I have to go now, darling, but I'll be back tomorrow to take care of you. I suppose tonight Wally will walk home with you. Don't you worry about Wally. I'm never going to speak to him again. Really? Oh, really? Yes, darling, Wally lied to me. If there's anything in this world I despise, it's a liar. Goodbye, sweet. Huh? Oh. Oh, did you hear what she said? Yeah. Well, oh, Joe, I'm in trouble. 
You don't know the half of it. She wants you to quit wrestling. Oh, she does? Well, why, that's wonderful. Wonderful, my eye. You can't quit. Well, who says so? I say so. Don't you get it? If you quit, the devil has to quit, too. And I can't quite visualize him doing it. Oh, oh, Joe. Call Dr. Dinwiddie. Now I am sick. Oh, my. What's eating on you, Professor? Well, I was just trying to figure out why the atmosphere in this rat trap was so much more fragrant tonight, and I just found out. Had a rep skiers among the missing. You don't suppose something unpleasant happened to him? I hope. Wally, will you do me a great favor? Well, sure, anything for a pal. What is it? Will you drop dead? No, I'm sorry, boss. I have more important things to do with my time. I doubt it. Come in. Hi, Marvelous. Hello, Wally. Boy, have I got some great news for you. Yes, what is it? We're about to mingle with the elite. There's a big party down I'm at the hotel. I'm sorry, Wally, no. Well, why not? I thought with your big moment out of the way, there might be a chance for me Look, to... Wally, when I told you I wasn't seeing you anymore, I met it. What's the matter? Am I poisoned or something? Ready, Junie? Oh, pardon me. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, Mitzi. Wally was just helping me on with my coat. Want to tell Mitzi what's wrong? Sandy proposed to me, Mitzi. Say, that's swell. Or is it? Mitzi, I'm scared half to death. I don't know what to do. What's there to be scared of? Mitzi, do you know who Sandy really is? Who? The devil. He's the what? You know that wrestler that nobody knows? Sandy? That quiet little guy? That quiet little guy. You should see him in the ring. He's a murderer. He's the toughest, the brutalist. Well, you know why he didn't show up for work tonight? He broke his leg wrestling. Oh, blow me down. Now you... Now you know why I'm so scared. Suppose I marry him and find out that's the real Sandy. What'll I do, Mitzi? You could learn to wrestle. Oh, you're a great help. <sighs> here you are. Oh, thank you, darling. I don't know what I would have done without you. Me lying here helpless all this week. It's quite all right. What is it, dear? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. When do you leave for Australia? When does who leave for where? That was a very nice interview with you in the paper yesterday morning. It said that when you recovered, you were leaving for Australia for a wrestling tour. Oh, I was? <coughs> I, I am? Yes, to wrestle Terrible Thomas, a Melbourne mangler. Oh, well, oh yes, yes, I, I remember. I, th that, that was just a little publicity story. <laughs> you sure? Oh. You ought to know better than to believe everything you read in the paper. <laughs> Besides, you don't think I'd leave you now, do you? <laughs> yes? Ah, uh, begging please the pardon. Uh, my piano, she's out of tune. Could I use your aid? Oh, yeah, yeah. Help yourself. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm very sorry. If I find it, I'll send it to you. Goodbye. <coughs> June, get me a pair of scissors quick in the huh? bathroom. The cast comes off today. I don't get it. Hurry, and bring me a hammer and chisel. But, but what happened? You're completely recovered. It says so right here in the paper. Uh, I am? 
You're wrestling Ivan the Terrible tonight. Oh, no, 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 that's impossible. Look, I can hardly move. Besides, I'm beginning to like it here. There's no use arguing. If the paper says you're recovered, you're recovered. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, no, 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 no. wait a minute, Joe. We've got to get out of this mess. Yesterday, I was going to Australia, and today it's this. And, and tomorrow, he may stick up at a gas station. A trifle. <laughs> I got a plan. Oh, no, just forget about it. There's only one way you can help me. How? I gotta talk to the devil. Right now, this very minute, and it's up to you to find him for me. Now, I haven't very much money, you understand, Mr. Devil, but I might be able to raise $500. And, and, and all, all I'm asking you to do for it is to change your name. Look, chum, first of all, don't call me Mr. Devil. In my own home, I'll go under my real name, which is Trefagan. Piper Trafagan, to be specific. Yeah. Second of all, why do you want that I should change my name? What's in it for you? Oh, it's just everything, that's all. But my life, my, my happiness, my love. Oh, look, I, I want to get married, but I can't as long as you're the devil. Leave us get this straight. You see, you can't get married as long as I am the devil, that's e it? Exactly. Leave me ask you, why can't you? Uh, well, it, it, well, it's all mixed up. I, 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 you wouldn't understand it. All you gotta do is tell the newspapers that the, the devil is retiring and the next day a new wrestling star is born. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I put down some names here for you. You can just take any one of these. How about uh, Maya Morgan? I hate to tell you this, friend, but all this chatter of yours is rapidly getting me out of the mood for painting. If I'm gonna judge a fish, I'd better get rid of that little number and quick. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Hmm. How about Horrible Horton? Are you kidding? Huh? Well, how about Tiger? What's the matter with you? Me cake just fell. And if we're gonna have any dinner tonight, I gotta have your model. Oh, I know who you are. You're Boris the Bulger. He's uh, me cousin. Oh, yeah? Get a load of this character, Boris. Tell you can't get hitched as long as I am the devil. Just yeah. a minute. Give me that again. He's got a gal, see, but she won't marry him on account of I'm the devil. Let me attempt to figure this out. Yeah. You got a girl. Uh, yes, sir. And she won't marry you as long as me cousin Hoybert is the devil. Uh, that's it, exactly. Of the Boga, and I was a devil? Y oh, no. Then when would she marry you? Well, <laughs> well, for instance, if you both were Boris the Bulger... Peculiar, ain't she? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, if, if I got a name. The King. King? Yeah. Huh? Well, huh? Well, can't you just see it now? You come marching in with a golden crown on your head and wearing a velvet robe with trimmed in ermine and, and the crowd goes wild. And the girl would marry him. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. How about it? You're asking me to change my name, a name that's established and known from Poughkeepsie, New York, to Red Wing, Minnesota. Yeah. You any idea what would happen if you walked into the telephone company and asked them to change their name to Horrible Horton for 500 bucks? No. They'd grab you by the collar, the coat, and the seat of the pants. They'd give you the old heave That's what had happened to you at the telephone company. Huh? Remember your promise. Yeah. As long as you must go on wrestling, please be decent about it. Sandy, don't be brutal. Don't make people hate you. Well, well June, it isn't entirely up to me. It's got to be, Sandy, if you love me. Hmm? I don't care if you win or lose. I don't care what happens. Just please don't be cruel. For my sake. Hello, Dreamface. And I had a dream about a face like yours once, too. I woke up screaming. You going in? Yes, we are. Well, I guess it won't be much of a show, because the devil can handle Ivan like, uh, well, like I could handle you. I don't know about that. Oh, no? Uh, oh, I mean about the devil. <laughs> I'll give you ten to one on it. I'll take it. Sandy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. There's no business. Well, I guess I'll be running along. Well, I'll go as easy as I can, June. That's a promise, darling. Hmm? Don't let him be rough. 
Don't let him be rough. Please don't let him be rough. I find the antics of those hulking brutes utterly boring, don't you? Especially when there are so many better things we could be doing. But we're not liable to. Sandy, you promised! You promised, Sandy! Don't let him be rough. Oh, what is it? What happened? Just close those baby blue eyes again and keep on wishing. Why don't you use a neck, you big goon? Let him be rough. Let him be rough. Talk to me again. If you're not doing anything later, we might... If you don't stop pestering me, I'll tell my fiancé. You look like you're alone to me. Just who might your fiancé be? The devil. The devil? your fiancé, I'd say, turned out to be quite a devil. Taxi. Like, what's this all about? Oh, Wally, I never was so glad to see anybody in all my life. See, the trouble with you is you look on the gloomy side. Yeah. Now, I got an idea which... Yeah, wait a minute. No more of your ideas. But well, there's got to be some way out. Yeah, there is. But you'd never think of it. I'm going to tell June the truth. Sandy, come back. Hey, taxi! Say, uh, can you take me to... North Airport! Uh... Hey, taxi! Take me to the uh, Grand Central Station. But that's no reason to give me the brush off for a worm like Sandy Elliott. He's not a worm, Wally. Still in love with him, aren't you? No, I'm not in love with him. But just the same, you'd better be more careful what you say about him. More careful? Why? Because he'll beat your ears off, that's why. Him? That, that worm? I told you, Wally, before he's not a worm. He's... he's... well... I wish I could tell you. Tell me what? If you ever breathe this to a single soul, Wally, I'll never tell you anything again as long as I live. Do you know who Sandy really is? Who? He's devil. Sure, and I'm an angel. You don't understand, Wally. He's the devil, the masked wrestler. You feel all right, Junie? I know he is, Wally. I know it. I know he is, and he can be. Well, he was up in the balcony tonight with Joe while the... Boy Oh, excuse me, lady. Hello. 
Oh, hello, hello. How are you? And how are you? Where'd you get this one? Hey, can't you see you're bothering us? Go on, scram and no, beat no, it. No, 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 Wally. This is Vogel's very own bench. He's been sleeping here since 1932. Good night, Mr. Replogel. Pleasant dreams. Oh, Miss. Yes? If you should see that other fella, you give him my regards. Him I like. Well, June, it can't be true. I know it isn't. Sandy's just trying to sell you a bill of goods. I wish you were right, Wally. I think I'd even forgive him for lying to me. Now for the news. New York. In a quarrel in his dressing room late last night, the masked wrestler known as the Devil brutally assaulted Simon B. Hunsinger, whom he accused of being overly attentive to his fiancée, after which he made a hasty escape. Because the true identity of the Devil is known to no one, the task of apprehending him, police say, will not be an easy one. Nevertheless, they... police. Do you expect me to believe that you, the devil's manager, don't know who this man really is? Now that's the truth, so help me. The whole time I've been handling the big palooka, I never even once saw his puss. Now you're trying to tell me you don't even know his name. Look, Cap, I'm going to level with you. I meet this guy, and he says to me, I'm the devil. And I says to him, I'm Slaughterhouse Shannon, and, well, that's all there was to it. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Both the places are you. My name is Peabody, G. Wetmore Peabody. I'm representing the Wrestlers Association. Uh, which is my client? That's me. Why, Your Honor, just to look at this man, you could see that he wasn't guilty. Those clear, honest eyes. Mr. Wetbody. The name is Peabody. Oh, Mr. Peabody. He ain't accused of nothing. Now, all we want is a little information, and uh, we got the devil, Captain. Well, I tell you, I'm not the devil. I'm innocent. Oh, Captain, this is all a ridiculous mistake. Now, listen. Suppose you'll tell me how this mistake happened. Yeah. Don't answer that question. What? Sir, I'd like to call your attention to paragraph 37, line 208 of the Civil Code, in which it particularly stipulates... That you shut up. Now, what's your name? Oh, uh, my name's Sandy Elliott, and I can tell you everything. You see, one day I saw them looking at a cradle, and I was worried, and Joe thought it would help if he told June I was a devil to impress her and, and make her forget Wally. And I hope I'm making myself clear up to now. So one night I was sitting up in the balcony. Oh, that's, that's after I, I, I promised her I, I wouldn't be brutal. Hold it. Now let's get this thing straight. You say that you were sitting in a cradle up in the balcony and June promised not to be brutal. Now, is that it? Oh, no, 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 Captain. You, you got it all confused. You see, I, I, I was in love with June. But one day, I saw them looking at a cradle. That's enough. Now then, Shannon. Have you got anything to say? All right, Captain. All right, I'll talk. He's the guy you're looking for, all right. Huh? Now the jig's up, kid. You might as well come clean. Oh, believe me, Captain, I don't even know who this man is. I haven't any idea what he's talking about. Now, uh, just a minute. If you'll confess, you'll get yourself out of this mess with maybe a small fine. Why, you can plead uh, jealousy, see? I can't. But if you keep on denying it... Just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. Before my client says anything more, I'd like to discuss this matter with him privately. Okay, but make it fast. What? Can I everything understand? Because if they pin this on you, then your career is washed up, finished. And as a representative of the Wrestling Association, I assure you that if you're found guilty, the devil will be a dead pigeon. And you'll never be permitted to wrestle again. Yeah, well, I was trying to tell you. What was that you said? You'll be barred from the ring forever. Yeah? Oh, oh boy. I did it, Captain. I'm guilty. So, you confessed to assault with a deadly weapon. 
Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I picked up the revolver and then everything went black and I started shooting. Shooting? Well, you hit the guy with a club. Oh, well, that's after I shot him. You can't do that. Can't you see uh, that? Let, 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 leave me alone. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Take me away. Lock me up. Here I am, Sandy. Now, don't worry, kid. Everything's gonna be all right. Well, Captain, this whole thing was my idea. Who are you? Huh? Well, I'm the guy's best friend. He called me when he was pinched. Yeah. Listen, Captain, he ain't the devil. He's just a... Joe! Kid. Please, you don't understand. I am the devil. I did it. I, I went mad with jealousy. I grabbed up a knife. Captain, this guy's going balmy. Santy, keep quiet. Now, now, Listen now, now, to now me. leave me alone, Joe. I, I gotta get this off my conscience. I, 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 where was I, Captain? Oh, yes. I grabbed up this baseball bat and, and I wham. Wham! Wham my foot, Captain. I'm telling you, he ain't oh, the devil. Oh, Joe. Joe, please. I know what it meant. I knew it was the end of my wrestling career. You see? But I didn't care. I didn't care, I tell you. I was like a madman. I hit him again and again and again and again. And one man's in time. For it, the vulgar. <laughs> Colorful character, isn't he? But not as colorful as the devil was. What became of him anyway? They say he retired. And you know what else I heard? That he got married. There's something you might not have heard. He's going to have a baby, too. <laughs> well, 